Good morning, good evening, and welcome back to War Thunder. Today we're going to be driving and reviewing the German 6-7 lineup. My 6-7 lineup consists of the following vehicles. First up is the M41 Walker Bulldog. It's just a German Walker Bulldog basically, which uses heat instead of APDS. Or at least I use heat instead of APDS. Then we have the heavy tanks, which is the Tiger 2H and the Porsche Tiger 2. My medium tanks are the Panther A and the Panther G. I don't use really the Panther G since I don't have it fully spaded as well. My A for this lineup is the Sister 45, and I also use the Schutzen Panzer. Yeah, Schutzen Panzer 12-3. Which is a battle pass tank, which is basically a recordless rifle and a 20 mil. For my tank destroyer, it is, it's the Jagdpanther G1. My cast is the ME262A1U4, which is just a flying 50 mil. And the other one is the TAR 152C3, which is the anti ground version of the TAR 152H1. Some people may wonder why I don't use, for example, the Ferdinand or the Jagdtiger. I think these are too slow. I don't use the Jagdtiger since the reload is so long and I feel like the 88 is more than enough. And the Ferdinand, I just think it's too slow and the armor doesn't really work that well since you're trading a lot of speed for armor and when that armor doesn't work, I don't think it's worth the trade. And I think the Jagdpanther G1 is just more fun to play in general. So, in this video I will be playing most of the tanks. I don't think I play as much Tiger P and Panther G. But the most of the other tanks I do play, including both of these planes. So, with that out of the way, let's take the German 6-7 lineup into battle. If you want to vote on what vehicles I play next or just see what videos are in the making, join my Discord link in the description below. So, for the first game, we find ourselves on the map of Breslau. I chose to first spawn the Tiger 2 H, taking the tank into the middle of the map to try to cut down on the number of enemies that can push Charlie. First tank goes down, which is a T 29. In this engagement, I did see another T29 who just reversed behind the building. I don't think he saw me, but he goes down as well. With this, I feel like I can push since I don't hear any engine noises right in front of me. Down the road, I did get marked on by a teammate. It turned out to be a ELC that's just staring down the road. It can be pretty dangerous since it does fire heat FS. I did get very lucky that this T95 didn't just stare directly down the road. Not too much I can do against him from this position, so I'm just gonna retreat and hide behind this uh, city. So, next up we're gonna head this friendly BTRZD by killing this STRV-74. Now I know I can't do anything against this T95, so I'm just not even gonna bother staying around here since I'm only just gonna be hiding from T95. We get a quick shot off on this uh, band cannon wagon. I get his driver, he's stuck in place and I just hit the ammunition stowage in the back and he goes down as well. Now further down the road by this corner I did hear another bad cannon. He doesn't seem to be paying much attention so we just turn around the corner and shoot him in the ammunition and he detonates pretty quickly. Now I did see a mark on the map that a heavy tank was going to come down this road. Turned out to be a T26 E5. First shot I tried to go for the lower plate. I should penetrate but unfortunately I do not do so. I know I can go through his lower plate so I'm just gonna remove any obstacles that might get in my way when I aim. Second I pull forward he actually does manage to kill us so that is pretty unfortunate but a first good spawn with 5 kills. For my second spawn I choose to bring in the M41 Walker Bulldog to try to recapture the other side of the map which we now have lost. Following this T44 I was planning to attack the point, but he just got shot and is marking on the map where the enemy is. 
I pull forward and it's a CA Lorraine but with heat it's gonna be no problem killing him and we kill the CA Lorraine and we help repair this B44 now after having captured Alpha Point and severely damaging AP61 I'm going to make my way into the middle of the map to try to retake Capture Point Bravo this will help secure our team for the final stages of the game since we will have a ticket advantage and it's also gonna give us more time to react if any enemies try to take the point for themselves so now crossing the bridge into the middle of the map I need to be careful of any enemies still lurking around this capture point that haven't been found yet but lucky for us there wasn't any enemies left in the middle of the map so we just take capture point bravo without any issues as well I now see that on the minimap and in the kill feed a lot of enemies are starting to push the charlie point so with my position now in the middle of the map I'm uh, going to try to flank and help secure the left flank so we don't lose Charlie point looking at the capture point they have surrounded it from both the left side and from behind so I'm gonna have to be careful on how I approach this in order to try to get as many kills as possible while still retaining the captured point now stopping at this corner we see a m50 on toes coming down the road I wasn't sure if he saw me since he will be able to kill me pretty easily but looks like he wasn't aware and had no headset so we're gonna kill him. I also see on the minimap that this friendly has pinged for help multiple times as he is getting attacked by a SPAA. So we're just gonna quickly go down to help him secure his life and then after he killed I'm gonna pop smoke and try to get on the capture point to secure it quickly so we can get into a defensive position now when the enemy's second or third wave is going to slam down on our defenses. Popping smoke again just to secure my bag while I move capture Charlie Point. Now having captured Charlie Point I am moving down this road and I see a enemy marked on the map. Unfortunately I couldn't get a scout off but I know he's there since he has been pinged multiple times. It turns out to be a PT-76, luckily he doesn't manage to kill us and if I was correct here I would be able to just overpressure him since I do have heat and since he is very badly armored. He suits a second shot and from this angle I will just be able to kill him once he moves out again. And once he does, I just shoot him in the side of the turret and he goes down as well. Now the enemies have started to capture Bravo and already be taken a capture point. So I'm just gonna move there in order to try to get the enemies away from those points and get them captured again for our team. Now moving down the road I did actually get a bit impatient and watching the footage back I should have just probably waited for him to pull out from the bridge but I get what I deserve when I try to rush and get the required spawn points for a nuke so we do get killed but since we're very close I'm just gonna spawn in a SPAA to try to get the last amount of spawn points now using the Zestar 45 I do spot a enemy plane in the sky so we're gonna load the high explosive rounds and try to get the kill we do so pretty easily and he just explodes his tail now we only need one more kill in order to drop this nuke and potentially save the game since it looks like our team are struggling to capture both of the points and it looks like we are getting attacked on the last point as well so we only need a kill to get the nuke and it looks like the friendly is getting shot from here so we're gonna load the armor piercing 30 mm rounds and hope it's a lightly armored target and lucky for us it is with a AMX 13 and he won't be able to stand up to our armor piercing 30 mils and with that we do get enough to spawn the nuke
With 11 kills and 3 zones captured, we take first place in our team by dropping a nuke, managing to earn a total of 12,177 research points and 110,047 silver lions. Now, for the second game, I am choosing to first burn the M41 on the map Eastern Europe. I am going to the other side of the main fighting area over the river and from that position I will be able to contest all of the capture points in pretty safe places. I also should be able to thanks to my quick tank get into a position where I will be able to kill any enemy having the same idea as me going over to this side of the map. I do however need to be careful of any enemies trying to shoot me since if you see a enemy on your flank, it's going to be a high priority to kill them. Now, I was moving into this position, I was listening for any enemy engine noises to the right side, but I didn't hear any and turns out on this entire map I will not be able to have any enemies contest me for the majority of the game. So the first thing we do is murder a M22. The second shot is to a IS-2, but thanks to 76 heat, which does basically no damage, we only managed to kill one crew member. The sad part about this is that heat has recently got buffed, but for small caliber heat it's a different story since they don't do very much damage at all. But however, we're just gonna change position, kill the other tanks. The first thing that goes down is a T-26E5 and I know where his ammunition is and that's where you have to aim in order to kill most tanks in one shot. I did however start to see another enemy, however he did move behind cover. I was playing with a friend from my discord server so if you want to get to play with me, I'm pretty much on there all the time and I'm down to play with most of you guys. Now. With no enemies showing themselves, I'm just gonna start killing other enemies and we're gonna start with immobilizing this IS-2. Now this is a pretty dangerous spot since I can't basically get to his immediate side and shoot his crew compartment so I'm just gonna immobilize him and switch positions. Now changing my angle at once again to avoid getting Locked down by any enemies from the spawn once again. I choose this position so where I can shoot any enemies trying to reinforce Bravo point. However, I do miss the shot on the German Jumbo, so we're just gonna sit and wait here, be patient, and when the next tank arrives, we're just gonna absolutely murder him. We get lucky that we one shot this M109, but we are now taking some return fire, so we're just gonna repair and be careful of where we expose ourselves once again. Now, after having repaired, we're just gonna reverse and kill this IS-1 with a pretty clean crew kill. Since I have been repairing for around 30 seconds, I don't think any enemies are still aware that I am in the same position, so we're gonna kill this M51 as well. Since his crew is quite compact and close together, it wasn't a very hard kill. The one problem I have now is that there are a lot of enemy aircraft up in the sky and most of them can absolutely murder me since I am very weak to even 20 mils. This also makes it hard to hear if any enemy tanks are coming down the road since I, the only thing I get is enemy airplane audio contacts so it's pretty dangerous for me in this position. But I think if I stick close to this building I wouldn't be caught and killed. There was still the enemy behind the hill that we pinged early in the map, so I am trying to get an angle on him as we speak. But thankfully he goes down and I'm just gonna stay behind this building to not get killed by any aircraft approaching. Now switching position since I wasn't getting any use of the position I was previously in, I get alerted to a M18 shooting my team from behind. And he doesn't seem to be wearing a headset as he had no idea I was coming and with heat I just over pressure him and he goes down pretty quickly. Now from the position I am in now I will be able to engage all the enemies trying to reinforce and retake. Bravo point. I also start to engaging this PE8 in hopes of getting a kill or a kill assist. 
Now, from the position I am in now, as I said, I will be able to reinforce. Uh, I will be able to kill the reinforcements, and I will also be able to kill anyone who moves across over to a capture point. I'm also pretty well hidden in this position since I'm covered by bushes and I can just fall back to covered by this hill. So, I will just be able to sit here for the rest of the game and engage on the enemies coming my way. The first enemy we start off by killing is a Amex 13 DCA. We just overpressure him thanks to AP. Excuse me, Heat FS. The problem is now I am starting to run low on ammunition and since this is very hard to kill with one shot especially at longer distances I will probably have to go and rearm sooner or later as well. Now the next prey is a T-3485. Unfortunately for me though I only managed to immobilize him and don't manage to get any of his crew. I will however still be able to kill him by just setting him on fire. The problem is I am starting to run really low on ammunition and by doing this I will deplete my ammunition even more. But it's the price we have to pay since I actually very much need this kill. The same thing happens for this M4, he managed to get behind cover quite quickly. T-34 explodes but now I'm gonna have to be doing the same thing to this M4. By wasting a lot of ammunition I am reducing the time I can stay in this position and I will need to go back to Bravo to rearm ammunition. And after having fired multiple shots at this M4, he finally dies. Now unfortunately I did die in my M41 Walker Bulldog, so I chose to bring in my first plane, which is the ME262A1 U4, which is a ME262 armed with a 50mm cannon. You can use it to attack planes, but I use it to kill ground targets, and that is often what it's used for. You can bring a variety of ammunition types, including high explosive to kill planes, APHE, and HVAP. I often use the APHE since the HVAP is really hard to kill, and it's probably very hard to get enough time to actually kill them. So I often use the APH. It has a bit less pen, but it, I think it's worth it. The other great upside to this ME262 is that it's really fast, and most planes won't be able to catch you. And if you play your cards correct, you will be able to stay fast for the time you're attacking ground targets. So you can often just outrun props. You need to be careful of other jets, but against enemy props you will just be able to outrun them if you keep your speed up. So the first target I killed was a T-34 and the second one will be this M-36 who just captured Bravo. Now I was completely close to a nuke but I didn't feel like I had enough time to drop it anyway so I thought of doing this using this ME262. As you can see in the background we have a plane that is chasing me but I just keep my speed up and dodge when he comes in the head down and he won't be able to touch me since he is a prop he will never be able to catch me if I play my cards correctly. And that is what I'm doing. I'm taking out my turns very far away so I can build up speed and when he just gets close I dodge him and then I just run away. Now I'm going to try to engage this SPAA but he just eats my rounds and unfortunately I do not kill him. That also means that we are out of time and we didn't manage to kill anyone else. With 14 kills I take first place in this game. I managed to earn a total of 10,068 research points and 82,744 silver lions. Now for our third game we are on the map Hurtgen Forest. My first one is once again the Tiger 2H. 
I'm going to make my way into the middle of the map trying to position myself between the B and C capture point. Having finally arrived in the middle I was starting to take fire from all angles. We start by trying to engage and kill this AMX-13 but we are unable to do so on our first try so I am going to try to close the distance in order to get a clean kill shot. We fire blind into the smoke in order to try to murder him but it's no dice. Now we see a another tank far far away which turns out to be a M18 Hellcat. First shot goes right into his turret, second shot misses and he reverses back out. I am going to try to get my gun on target because he is in a good position to harass our team once we begin the capture of Alpha Point. Unfortunately the third shot manages to do no damage as it doesn't even fuse. But we are not gonna give up yet as we still have vision on him. We aim in carefully and the fourth shot manages to slam right in his turret killing his whole crew. Now going out into the middle of the road we are taking fire by a M41. He doesn't manage to do anything and we take him out with one shot since this 88mm shell is very effective and has a good amount of HE filler you can comfortably one shot most of the tanks you face unless it doesn't fuse as the M18 showed or it's a very poor shot or it's just a big crew but often you will just be able to one shot most of the things you face if you get a clean penetration around the center of the tank we are also killing a M24 he had no chance of killing us so we just kill him with one shot and we find a another tank a EBR who doesn't seem to have a headset neither did I as I have no clue he, no clue he was there and I didn't even hear him but no problem for us as we do manage to just absolutely annihilate him we are going to place ourselves on the bravo capture point in order to kill the enemies in this position I will just be able to shoot any enemies and I will also be able to just capture the rubber point and I get a target in my sights. It's a another M4. He has no chance of killing me so we're just gonna reverse back and absolutely slam him. The target 2 and many other German tanks are actually really stable in the first gear or first reverse gear. So you are often able to fire on the move quite comfortably and quite accurately as well. Now unfortunately for us a enemy aircraft came and bombed us while we were rearming on the B capture point. No problem though as we spawn into another tank that is the Panther variant A. As I haven't completely spaded or gotten the necessary modifications to play the Panther G at a competitive level I only bring in the Panther A for this match. Now on our way into the map we do spot a M36 attempting to capture Charlie Point. One shot into him a pretty poorly play shot but we do manage to disable him. Um, but we are also taken shot by a super hellcat from our left side so we are gonna have to angle to him as well. We fire one shot, we manage to kill him, but unfortunately the M36 and another tank has managed to kill us again. After that quick life I choose to bring in the Jagged Panther, a tank destroy based on the Panther we played previously but armed with now the formidable 88mm cannon. We now see that the M36 has probably managed to make its way on to a capture point Charlie and is capturing it. So we're just gonna rush forward in an attempt to capture it back and kill off any enemies surrounding it. We do get a kill assist on the M36 but there are still more enemies surrounding that area. The Panther A to our front has taken hits and I know exactly where it is. It's the Hellcat once again, the first shot only manages to slightly wound his crew. But this is now a very big problem for us, as he's to our immediate side, it's going to be hard to advance, but I'm also exposing my own side to the brunt of the enemy attack coming on. 
Charlie. So we're gonna have to keep a close eye if he pulls forward and try to quickly angle. I am also gonna mark him on the map to make my teammates aware of this position so they don't fall into this ambush. Now having made my way safely into the town, I am going to start engaging any enemies trying to push onto Charlie. The first enemy we see is a T-25. With basically no armor in the front, he is a easy prey for our 88. But as we can see, the Super Hellcat is now advancing and firing at us. Sadly, we did die to that Super Hellcat from the same position. We did manage to turn in time and he killed us through our side armor. But not to threat, we are going to bring in the Ta 152C3, the ground attack version of the final evolution of the Focke Wolf 190, the Ta 152H1. I know this seems like uh, revenge killing, and I guess it kinda is, but he is in such a dangerous position, he is going to be able to kill almost all of our team trying to reinforce the capture points so I'm going to take my time and kill him as well. Now many of the German ground attack aircraft doesn't carry that many bombs since they are mostly famous and known for their cannon cans and the same goes for this plane. It's armed with a multitude of heavy cannons and the ones that do damage to ground targets are the heavy 30mm cannons which are armed with HVAP so they will be able to go through most roofs and even sides of enemy tanks. We did manage to find the Super Hellcat on the second patch but we do find another Hellcat in the Alpha capture point side so we're gonna turn around and come down on him. Having now done the loop I'm going to Come down on this Hellcat, we cut throttle to give us as much time on target as possible. He was hiding behind the tree but he just pulls out and we do manage to get the kill. Now I am going to try to get enough altitude to try to finish off this Hellcat, but it looks like this Panther G has the same idea. So in the worst case I don't manage to get the kill but I will be able to mark him, but we do manage to kill the Super Hellcat. So now. Both flanks are clear for our friendlies to advance and that is mainly what Cas is used for. Um, I know Cas may be used for to just farm kills but in my opinion since you have a view of what's going on you should be able to clear out any enemies that are in strong positions to kill most of your friendly tanks advancing. Having circulated above the battlefield for some time a Enemy plane has managed to spawn and we are going to engage in a dogfight. We take the head down but no dice for him or myself. He just tries to kill a ground target, dropping his bomb to make his plane lighter to actually dogfight. He pulls up into the sky, he tries to go for this Doe 17 but me and this other fucking wolf is a chase and attempting to kill him and we do get the kill assist. Now I turn back, the game is almost over but I'm hoping to get a another kill. We turn over watching their spawn and we see that enemies have spawned and they are also attacking both Charlie Point. So we're gonna just scan for targets and we see the one on Charlie. So we cut throttle giving us as much time on target as possible. The game does go out of time but we do manage to get the kill even though it didn't count. We managed to take first place in our team by killing 9 enemies and having one zone captured. We managed to earn a total of 8,988 research points and 82,555 silver alliance. So what are my thoughts on Germany 6-7? Just speaking about the lineup, it's a very, very strong lineup. In down tiers, it absolutely slaps. You have a good amount of firepower. Well, you have a fantastic f amount of firepower. You don't basically need to aim anything. It penetrates everything. You have good high explosive fillers, so this just kills everything. You have now a good light tank. You have a good heavy tanks, good medium tanks. You have a good anti-aircraft. You have fantastic cast and fighter planes and you have very good tank destroyers so 
overall it's a very 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 strong lineup and I would really recommend it. Looking in at the tech tree we see that this is mostly in rank 4. It's a pretty fun grind to get there, you have some highlights including the Tigers, the EK302 and some of the Panthers and the Tank Destroyers, so it's a really fun line. The only thing that kind of brings the German 67 experience down, in my opinion, is the teammates. Everybody knows how German teammates are. They're not the best in the game and this can bring you down. Um, your experience may differ, but for me, when I played, I didn't experience really bad teammates, but m many times your team will just crumble after one death and y you can't like count on your teammates. But regarding that, it's hit or miss, like you can have good teammates or you can have fucking horrible ones, but often it they're decent, like they're not super, super bad, but yeah. But that's like the only negative I have with this lineup. But again, if you're a light tank enjoyer, maybe this isn't the best thing. You only have one decent light tank uh, until you get to higher tiers. But before that, you are you have like one good light tank. So if you play Germany, you're not going to be super used to light tanks. So I wouldn't say it's a big problem. But overall, fantastic lineup. Good firepower, good armor, good cast, and good light tanks. For me, it's a 10 out of 10, and I would really recommend you grinding for it. That does also mean this video is coming to a close. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. As always, stay tuned as there will be more content to come about Wathunder. Till next time, take care.